Hi everyone, I'm Samir. And I'm Gibran. We're here with Cal TV Entertainment. And we're here in San Francisco tonight to attend the Third Eye International South Asian Film Festival. And tonight we're going to be seeing two amazing new films from independent directors in India. One called Gandhu by director Q and... The other called Slackistan by Pakistani director Hamad Khan. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gibran from Cal TV. I'm here with uh, Hamid Khan, the director of Slackistan. Um, could you first briefly just uh, describe the plot a little bit and the theme of, of the movie for people who haven't seen it? Sure, yeah. The plot is about a group of friends in Islamabad, you know, the capital city of Pakistan, and uh, mainly one of the friends, uh, a guy called Hassan, who's um, stuck between college and his future career. He has dreams of being a, a filmmaker, and he has a camera in his box, but he can't seem to take the camera out of his box because he's too hung up about hanging out with his friends and uh, his feelings for a girl that he likes. So it's a bit of a coming of age story, really. There's a lot of uh, political turmoil in Pakistan, of course. I was wondering what you, why you felt it was important to center the film around the Pakistani youth. Um, you should make films about what you know, the, lives you, the life you've lived in, in uh, Islamabad and growing up there at that age is personal to me. So I, I felt like making a film about what was my experience in a way, but 2010 updated. Um, but then, of course, um, you can't really do that without, uh, you know, facing up to some of the realities of the class divide and, you know, the, the, the stuff that's happening outside of these people's worlds. So we brought in some of that and we tried to uh, incorporate that into the coming of age. I never actually once thought that I want to make a film in which the West sees Pakistan differently. It's just, this was just an expression of who I am. Like, my influences are Western, so, you know, I'm into the American cinema, I'm into American indie rock music so I was it was natural that I was going to put that in so I never really thought about it but uh, as a result obviously they, they will and I hope they do see it differently. I had a question, um, Bollywood is one of the biggest film industries in the world, <coughs> the biggest film industry in the world, why do you think Pakistan is so lacking in, in that industry? I feel like Pakistan should come up with its own stories, its own cinema, find its own identity through images and through films, be they very diverse different films. I don't think they should try and copy um, Bollywood because I think that really people love Bollywood you know Pakistanis love Indian movies and I don't think you know you should necessarily try and ape them make a cheap version of them just try and make films that are you know very Pakistani I just want to thank you for coming and talk to us for a little bit and uh, we all enjoyed the film it's going to be playing here in the next week or so so check it out Hi everyone I'm Samir and I'm here with Q the director of the independent Bengali feature Gandhu and i um, really happy to have you here today, Q. I'm great. So I wanted to ask you if you could help explain this film for people who haven't heard anything about it yet. Gandu uh, means um, asshole. Just from the name, you can uh, probably imagine that we are tr what we're trying to do is to shock or, you know, shock uh, or titillate the uh, audience into watching it or not watching it. Um, I also wanted to ask about the Bengali rap that was used throughout the film. What, did you write that or was that written by another musician? Well, I'm a failed musician myself and that's how, <laughs> that's how I came into films and this was my big chance. You mentioned um, that the film has had quite a volatile reaction in India. Yeah. Um, can you explain what that reaction has been like? Uh, we had been expecting a, a furious backlash. However, what we are getting right now are close to 20,000 fans of the film. Everyone's looking forward to see Gandu uncut, not, not censored, which is probably impossible in India. So let's see what happens. You, you never know. We are at the cusp of a huge change. I agree, and I'm really excited to see where this film goes from here. Um, I, I suggest everyone look for it. It's absolutely amazing, and if you think you know anything about Indian films, this one will blow your mind. Oh,